Hey guys, Double King here. Uh, somebody asked me to make a video on how the double rank up system works, so this is how the double rank up system works. So I get it, you want to get a double rank up because they're cool, and apparently they get you a lot of views on YouTube. If you want to understand how the double rank up system works, you have to understand how MMR works. And MMR is this unseen ELO system that kind of works behind the scenes in Valorant to take a look at how players are actually like playing, like how good players actually are. So rank is one thing and then MMR is another thing. I made this visualization, this like picture here to try and help portray how the MMR system works. So the numbers at the bottom are the MMR assigned to like each rank from gold to diamond. And that's not exactly accurate, but it's a, it's a good idea of how it works. In this example, you're gold two, and you're top fragging, you're getting your assists, you're getting trades, you're doing a good job, you know, you're winning games. This player, and we're gonna say it's you, cause you're a superstar. You're about to hit your rank up. Here's what's really happening. As soon as you rank up, your MMR is checked, it sees that it's 3260, it sees that you don't belong in the next elo, which is only 2986, so it skips that and puts you in plat one, where it's about 3200. Does that make sense? That's why you get a double rank up. This is a pretty good way to counter smurfing. It's the idea that if you're playing too good for your rank, it's gonna put you in a rank ahead of that, so you're not bothering the people below you. Okay, so now we know that if you have high MMR, you can get a double rank up. So how do you get high MMR? So MMR is split into two components, encounter MMR and win-loss MMR. So encounter MMR and win-loss MMR, those names were assigned by the designer of the competitive scene, what is it? The senior competitive designer for Valorant. I think his name is John, Jonathan Walker. Encounter MMR takes a look at how many kills you get, total damage done, your assists, your trade, how effective your ability usage is. But win-loss MMR just looks at if you won or you lost the game and what type of elo pool that game was. So, you know, if you do good in a high elo lobby, you're going to get more MMR. If you do bad in a low elo lobby, you're gonna lose some MMR. That's how the system works. It's a nice combination of both so we can tell how effective you are in games around people in your MMR as well as if you can win. According to the senior competitive designer for Valorant, at lower ranks, the game it places a heavier emphasis on encounter MMR. So how you perform in each game matters more at lower ranks. Now they don't specify what, what ranks those are, but I have a pretty good idea. I think it's probably anywhere from iron to platinum. On the other hand, winning takes precedence over winning duels in higher ranks. So if you're anywhere from like diamond to higher, you get more MMR for winning games than just winning duels. So it makes more sense to focus on team-based strategy and winning your games if you're higher ranked than if you're a lower rank. In lower ranks, you just gotta run it down, get your kills, get your wins, get your assists, get your trades, use your util right, and you'll get higher MMR through that. It's not to say you shouldn't play as a team. You still should. <laughs> Definitely play as a team. So to recap, if you want to get a double rank up and you're anywhere from iron to platinum, focus on getting higher amounts of kills, getting your assists, getting your trades, and using your util right. Winning is important, but the system favors encounter MMR more at lower elos. And if you're higher elo, we're talking diamond and above, really just focus on getting your wins, playing as a team, and being a good team player. Really quickly before the video ends, I just want to see how crazy these last couple days have been for my channel. Like, I really appreciate all the love I've been getting from the Valorant community. The last video I posted, I had 55 subscribers and I went to sleep. When I woke up, I had 222. Dude, I thought I was dreaming. Like, I woke up and I checked my phone and I was like, what? And then I fell back asleep, but like, it was, it was amazing. Anyways, these last two videos that I've made have been off of subscribers commenting ideas in the comments, and they were great ideas. Like, this is brilliant. So if you have any video ideas or suggestions, Put them in the comments. I read every single comment. So let me know. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.